showcase. Years ago, I had a vendor that I could get curved glass for china cabinet replacements. Now, so this is actually a scrap from a busted china cabinet uh, curved glass side. And they closed up, so I'm, I'm no longer able to get this at a reasonable price. So this was actually a COVID project. Business was slow. Uh, I had the time, didn't have any paying customers really, and I had the brass material that I had bought for this. So I had envisioned, because we had a woodworker in the basement, like a cabinet maker, and it kind of got uh, relegated to his uh, to-do list, or get around to it list, to have a, a wooden base made. You know that this could be a uh, slot could be rotted out, so this could slip into and have like you know a little wooden yoke on the back with little sliding doors uh, to make it a countertop showcase. I know you've probably seen these things in uh, you know in antique shops and things where it's uh, it's made out of oak and has a nice base and it's a little bigger than this and has sliding doors in the back and you could you know uh, use it to display jewelry or knickknacks or whatever. Uh, and, you know, really, I had a couple of ladies a few years ago, oh, it's been about maybe 10 years, that they had found a showcase with two pieces of broken uh, curved glass in it. The whole thing was made out of oak. It had the base. It had the sliding doors. Okay. And uh, they went to the tri-state area before they could find me. They had it in three different states before they found me that I could replace the glass when I was able to get it. Now, one thing I did want to show off here, okay, is, because I had made the video about how I had done this, about the inside edge, okay, well, let me get the camera going here. Come on, camera. Uh, cooperate. So, none. Everything get back in focus. This is where I had made those little cuts, what I call chamfer cuts, so I could curve the brass came this way. Because doing a curve like this was no problem on a, a cane bender. But to get this one, I had to make those little cuts, okay? See, and then I just covered it in solder when I put the whole thing together. And of course, I had touched it up with a uh, a brass colored felt tip marker or a gold felt tip marker that was the only way to get that to work okay and I did use all uh, old salvaged window glass and the rest of it so you know eventually hopefully the woodworker will get around to uh, getting it off of his get around to uh, truck and eventually I'll get the base done but that is basically the completed project so it was one of those things that you know I had been wanting to make for a while to kind of prove that I could make it and I did make it and uh, now I still have to get the woodwork done but it was an interesting project at least for me so thank you God bless bye bye